emailed me the other week with a great question and I really wanted to answer it completely, so I'm giving it its own video. The question is, if you could build your own music festival, who would headline? Three days, two headliners and a support act, oh, and where would you host it? Let me answer this question in reverse, as the venue question is the easiest of all of them. There's no question it would be in Grant Park in Chicago. Lollapalooza uses that place for a reason. As it's easy to get to from so many parts of the country and the world, there's plenty of hotels, there's plenty of things to do if you don't want to see the music for whatever reason, and the space itself is fantastic because there's enough distance between both stages so you don't get any sound bleed, but at the same time, it's not a huge hike to go from one main stage to the other. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I can use bands that for whatever reason don't play together anymore, though that doesn't make this question any easier. For the first evening, I think I would have Grinderman warm up the crowd as I think everybody in the world should be required to see Nick Cave live at least once in their life. Then, the headliner on one stage would be Gogo Bordello, while on the other stage it would be an early 70s version of Parliament. I mean, it's the first night, you want everybody partying like crazy, and I can't think of two bands better to pull that off. For night two, I would want the warm-up act to be a Woodstock-era Sly and the Family Stone. You know, just to get the crowd energized and having a little bit of fun. To headline that evening, there's no question that one of the stages would be Iggy and the Stooges from 1972, with a Use Your Illusion era Guns N' Roses handling business on the other side. And to be honest, we'd probably get shut down that night due to the sheer volume, but it would totally be worth it. In terms of the final evening, I'd probably have Janis Joplin open the show, but not a Big Brother in the Holding Company version of her. I'd want the Cosmic Blues Band era Janis playing. I just really dig what she was doing in those final years as a live performer, and that's what I'd want to see. And since it's the final night, there would only be one headliner, and that, of course, would be The Clash from about 1980. And in this amazing dream that I'm having right now, at some point in the show, Woody Guthrie and Johnny Cash come out, and they each take a verse on The Clash's classic song, know your rights. Granted, if you ask me this question in a week, I'm sure that some of the bands will change a little bit, as at its core, it's a pretty much impossible question to answer. And had I not been restricted to rock-style bands, it would have been even more difficult. But thankfully, there's always an undercard to fill out with other amazing acts, and for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and settle with that dream lineup for... Guru Fest. <laughs>